Hi boys and girls! Today we are going to work in our religion book on page 226. So if you could take out your religion book, page 226. Religion book, page 226. You can go ahead and pause the video if you're still looking for it. The last few pages in our religion book, we have been talking about Jesus's love and Jesus's love for us. You read a story about how Jesus helped a little girl. The dad had come to Jesus, letting him know that his daughter really needed help. And out of Jesus's love, he was able to help and actually save the girl. So today on page 226, we are going to read about a man named Father Damien. Here's Father Damien. Father Damien worked with a very, very special group of people in Hawaii. Okay, He is known for working with a group of people that no one else wanted to even look at. Okay, They were almost afraid of this group of people. And this story is called Father Damien and the Lepers. As I'm reading, I want you to watch for the love that Father Damien had for these people. It's called loving service. He was willing to do anything for them. Page 226, Father Damien and the Lepers. Long ago, a sickness known as leprosy infected many people in Hawaii. Lepers were people sick with a terrible skin disease. Okay, it was on their skin. People became very afraid. Many thought that if they got near the lepers, they would get sick too. So they sent the lepers far away. The lepers lived all alone on an island called Malachi with no one to help them. When Father Damien learned about the lepers, he remembered the work of Jesus. Jesus was not afraid of sick people, not even lepers. Jesus spent time with them. Often, he healed them. Father Damien wanted to act as Jesus would. So he decided he would go to the island and live with the lepers. He helped them build houses and grow food. He taught them about Jesus. He kept their bandages clean. He tried to nurse them back to health. Father Damien lived and worked on the island for 12 years. Then he became sick with leprosy and died. To this day, the people on Malachi give God thanks for Father Damien's help. So as you can see, that was an illustration on that same page of Father Damien. As a leper himself, he had bandages on the one arm that's kind of across his um, belly. And here are some of the boys that would have been on the island with him in 1889. So this is a beautiful example of how someone knew that Jesus still wants us to love others, no matter what they look like or what is wrong with them. So Father Damien had heard about all of these people living on the island by themselves because no one else wanted to be near them. So they sent them far away. But when they sent them far away, they didn't send anyone to help these people who were sick and needed help. So Father Damien decided that he would go to the island also. So he helped them build houses. He helped them grow food. And I think that he helped a lot of them um, to feel better, just to feel like a human again. Because really, when they had been sent there, it was like no one really wanted to even be near them. Unfortunately, Father Damien 
um, did also get the skin disease. So, um, so he did die. But before that happened, he was able to help so many people. And he really did this. He did this out of love. Okay, no one had asked him to do this. He heard about what was happening on the island of Malachi and he decided he would go because he loved people and he wanted to help people just like Jesus would. Now on page 227, in the new commandment, which I'm hoping as I read it, all of you have a smile on your face because you've heard it before. In the new commandment, Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. This is the law of love. We are called to love others the way God loves us. When we show our love for others, we also show our love for God. So this new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. We have been talking all year about how Jesus loves us no matter what. Even if we do something that he might not like that we do, as long as we are sorry, Jesus will forgive us. So something like this, the new commandment it's called, love one another as I have loved you. Jesus is actually asking us to love others like he loves us. So he's asking us that even if someone does something that you don't really like, it's still really good to forgive them. For example, maybe your brother or sister did something that hurt your feelings or even hurt your body. Okay, They hit you or um, really hurt you. Jesus wants us to forgive them. Okay, So when your sibling says that they are sorry, um, you want to forgive them and then go back to loving them just like Jesus would. So we believe when we love others, we are following Jesus. We are also showing our love for God. In the new commandment, Jesus tells us to love one another as he loves. So at the bottom, the activity there on 227, I would like you to unscramble the words in the green box and write the new commandment in the correct order. So you're going to write it as the sentence. It's written in two places that you could copy. So it's at the top of the screen, the top of the page in quotes, love one another as I have loved you. And it is also written in the green box next to that lighter green box with all the words scrambled up. So I'll give you a few minutes to write our new commandment given to us by Jesus. It's exactly what Jesus said. Love one another as I have loved you. Okay, boys and girls, so if you have unscrambled our words, it should read, love one another as I have loved you. Now, remembering that and treating others near you and around you with that love and kindness um, that we do, let's end our religion class today with a prayer. Um, as we are praying, I want you just to think about some people that 
even in the past, if they might have hurt you um, or made you upset, it's good to forgive them. Jesus is asking us to forgive those around us and to love them just as Jesus uh, loves us. So even if they're different than you or, um, you know, may not be your very best friend, it's still good to love others just like Jesus loves us. So let's start in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's say the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So today I hope that even though you're at home, um, you can find a way to love someone else just as Jesus loves you.